hey guys where are you watching me from no matter where you're watching me from food is the ingredient that binds us all together everyone loves food that's a fact so with all the problems going on in the world right now i thought why not put up a food vlog maybe it will put a smile on your face even if you know just for a few minutes Mozambique you know just walking around and then we came across a restaurant called Kwetu so Kwetu is a Swahili word we went talk to the guys and they're like oh my god we are Rwandese we are from East Africa but we work here and I was so excited they were so excited we hung out we talked for a long time and uh, they invited us over today this is Saturday they have a buffet they told us to go over I am so excited so this is my friend she's a Mozambique youtuber hey she's taking me around she's so nice oh my Aww, god you are nice <laughs> I'm, I'm so honored to meet trudy and maya oh like the, their videos is, are so good like you know showing you people around africa i felt like i went everywhere with them when oh, i was watching the videos thank you so much thank and you and i'm watching. super proud good job girl thank you <laughs> we try we try we gotta try <laughs> so how do you say i'm hungry in Portuguese because you know guys Portuguese is their official language yeah so I got an email from someone telling me oh Trudy you know you need to learn this language when you go to a country you need to speak like them it was a really long message so yeah see I'm trying so how do you say I'm hungry so I'm hungry is estou com fome estou com fome estou com fome oh wow yeah do you know that research says that Portuguese or is one of the sexiest languages in the world i agree but i would say brazilian portuguese is the sexiest really yeah because like there's portuguese from portugal there's mozambican portuguese angolan portuguese so it doesn't sound the same it doesn't sound the same you would be surprised mm. same thing with spanish spanish from spain doesn't sound the same as spanish from mexico you know oh, wow yeah okay. you have to speak the language to get the difference oh yeah okay so brazilian portuguese is the sexiest but yeah portuguese it is a sexy language i can agree okay yeah <laughs> The good thing about uh, vlogging in such countries is that they, people they don't look care. at you like you're crazy. They yeah? really don't care, yeah. And here they do. They're like, what is she doing? I know, right? Yeah. Why are you going to take the clip? Yeah, why? What do you want to do? Do you want to kill me? I'm flying too much. <laughs> why are you taking Yeah, yeah that's the thing. Why are you taking my Like, they think too much, you know. <laughs> why are you taking my footage? I want my money. I'm flying to mother me. Give that's me crazy. The money. is it being a female driver on these roads um it's fine when you encounter people who respect the rules but yeah. you have to develop that grit to like take your way and be like no you're not gonna cut me now you know <laughs> you need to you need to be a bit um proactive because especially the the drivers for like the public transportations they yeah are so crazy they do the craziest things literally they'll just there's a two-way, right? And yeah. you literally go the opposite way. I don't know how to, how do you say that in English. And then they'll just risk it all in order to get a little bit faster to their destination, which is crazy. They really don't care about who, who how many people they're driving. So, I know, right? Yeah. So you have to be really defensive. But overall, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Scary. But you know, generally, like in yeah. all countries, yeah. okay, like most countries, men like bullying women on the road. Yeah, they do, they do. But here, I mean, it doesn't happen too much. I mean, of course it happens, but well, it's pretty divided because you have women also doing the driver role. No way. Yeah, you have women that drive the, Public the school means? buses. No way. Yeah, you have. And I, I'm, really, I'm really happy and that makes me really proud. Like, you don't yeah. see that in many countries. Like yeah, where I come from, me. it's mostly just men. I mean, here in Mozambique, women are really pushing the boundaries. We are really trying to like claim our place, and you know, we just had um, a woman that was once um, running 
for president of the party mm -hmm. and i was really rooting for her because i was like oh my god this could be the, the first time mozambique has a female president mm -hmm. but that didn't happen but i'm pretty sure we're gonna get there because we have like so much so many powerful women that are like I ready to us. teach and I yeah yeah it's really really good that's something that makes me really happy about Moz. Oh, nice. <laughs> the restaurant Queto is like so beautiful yeah and what I love about it is that on Sundays mm -hmm. they usually put like loud music so you have the street in front of Queto full of people really like all types of people from all class usually the, the, the hippie people from oh. Bap -Bap Maputo Oh, That's nice. where they like to go and like hang out and listen to music, like Afrobeats nice. and eat and have a snack. So yeah, I think it's a really, really cool spot and I'm glad you're going there. Oh, I'm glad I am. We're almost there, literally two minutes. <laughs> they love the streets, guys. As you can see, these are acacia trees, yeah? Mm -hmm. Maputo is known as the city of acacia trees. Yeah, I mean, they're just so many. Yeah. Welcome to Quito Restaurant. Quito is a Swahili word meaning ours. This restaurant has a strong African influence. I love the fact that they have displayed African art, African clothes. Um, African shoes and beadwork. It's very unique and it enhances the look of this place. What do you think? So apart from this place being a restaurant, it's also kind of a library. You can actually come here, get a book and read mostly on weekdays in the morning because in the afternoon and on weekends this place is packed so yeah it's kind of noisy this place is so african so in case you're tempted to get some of this beautiful artwork feel free to do so it is at an affordable price Guys, welcome to Kwetu Restaurant. Kwetu. Hello. Hi. Fine. How are you doing? <laughs> okay, so today guys are having buffet the East African way. Everything here looks delicious. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait, man. It's East African food. This is East African food made here in Mozambique, so I'm so excited. It's buffet, so let's see what they have. This feels so familiar. You know, in East Africa, we love avocado, and it's hard to go to a house and see that they really don't have avocado. So there we've got avocado. Um, here we call this kachumbari. Ah, it looks so good. Meat. Like there's just so much, I can't wait to eat this food. Yo guys, I feel so bad for you. I feel like most of you are salivating right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I, I can't wait to start eating this food. 
the aroma here is killing me. <laughs> Does this look familiar to you? Because you're from Mozambique. This is mostly East African food. What do you think? Does it look familiar? Are you excited? Um, I think 50% looks familiar. Like the veggies, the potatoes, the tomatoes. But the avocado is not something we usually go for. Really? Laws, no. We actually have avocado with like sugar. We, we have avocado oh, wow. as a dessert in Moz. That's how I grew up having avocado. Okay. So it's really weird for me to have avocado on a savory plate. So yeah, there's that. But... The shima, which you call uh, kugali. kugali, and coconut rice, cassava leaves, that's pretty familiar. So, 50 50. Okay. The only thing I love more than talking about food is eating. I filled my plate up. I'm feeling so embarrassed, you guys. You don't even understand. <laughs> my plate is full and I still want to add more. Anyway, let's go and eat. Guys, lunch is served. Look at how full my plate is. Oh my god. And look at hers. I feel so embarrassed. I had breakfast. I had breakfast and she didn't. So she deserves to eat all of that. <laughs> Promise. Lol. No guilt. YOLO. <laughs> Guys, it's so good. I'm going to a second round because <laughs> life is short and I need to follow more of her example. I should have I should have put a lot more. <laughs> Guys, you know how we do it in East Africa, in Kenya, avocado. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This is wow. I was telling her I wouldn't be able to do it. Because for me, avocado goes with sugar. And I'm weird, I know, for saying that. But. I'm gonna start coming after you leave and then I'm gonna think about you every time I have your food. Guys, and this is the owner of this restaurant. How does it feel? So you come here, you eat anytime, you don't have to pay, do you? Dude, this is my life. I love eating and um, I got lucky to have a restaurant. <laughs> and, uh, nakula chakula so where is this restaurant located if anyone wants to come here? So this restaurant is located in Maputo, in a neighborhood called Museu, on a street called uh, Martyr de Mashava number 933 okay and uh, our telephone number in case you want to call and uh, order it's plus 258 8441 55 558 and we have uh, we happen to have a page on facebook and instagram called kwetu maputo you're all welcome home Karibuni kwetu Karibuni. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Were you salivating the whole time? <laughs> um, I love how food brings people together, you know. Where there is food, you've got happy times. So I just I just hope this vlog made you happy, even just for the 10 minutes. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you're cooking right now. Let me know what your favorite food is, uh, the staple food in your country, you know, since guys are in lockdown right now. Thank you for watching. Mwah.